Maker XP tutorial. This is episode six, and today we're going to be looking at how to um, edit uh, troops and enemies and their differences. So let's go to database here and make sure you have enemies selected. Oops, right next to it. Okay. Now the difference between enemies is that enemies are the actual uh, substance that you're fighting against, the material, the actual nemesis, I guess you would say, but the, the enemy, you understand. Troops is the collection of enemies that you would be fighting. So, in a battle event, you would choose enemies, you would choose troops, and you can customize your troops with uh, however many enemies you want. You don't have to necessarily put, you know, the name of enemies times how many, or many there are, you can, let's change the maximum here, add two more, alright, we have a blank one, we could put, um, mixture hard, and we'll add a few, demon, uh, griffin, you know, you can place them wherever you want, and, uh, whenever you do, like, a battle commence thing in a, in an event, these this might appear, you know, you can auto name it too. It would do demon and griffin. You could change the battle back here. And you could even have a battle test and, and you could set the parameters for the battle test. I'm not gonna do that. We can also have battle events, um, but on condition when it's don't run or the enemy's HP is a certain amount, then this event would take place. And that would span only in a battle or the turn or the moment etc etc we can make more to whatever those are cherubim and seraphim <laughs> and we would auto name that to cherubim times two seraphim and that would be the though that would be troops but to actually change the enemy's stats you would go to enemies and here we have a simple ghost is HP is SP, um, strength, dexterity, agility, intelligence, attack, power defense, magic defense, evasion. You know, as the enemies go down the line, everything gets better, harder, better, stronger. No, I'm kidding. That's a song, in case you didn't know. Um, and also, we have actions here. Normally, they would all have attack. And if they're really low enemies, really bad enemies, they would have do nothing. But you can add more, double left clicking. Um, you could add conditions, you don't have to. And the action would be basic, you know, attack, defend, escape, do nothing. Or you could have a skill, a number of skills here that they can do. And rating. Rating is the uh, action's priority of use when they meet the conditions, you know. It'll be you if. It's just, you know, it's like a 10. This you use more often. Heal with it. And basically enemies and true work. So we're gonna cancel that. And on your map, you open the map properties. Under encounters, see where it says troop. You can add troops here, enemy troops. See where it says that. We have our... Oh, we didn't save it. <laughs> well, we, we were gonna have our custom troop. But you can add troops. Press OK. And the, these are the average amount of steps if you weren't listening before to previous videos. Um, for example, if you walked around 30 times on average, you would meet or encounter two ghosts, etc. But that's how troops work and encounters and enemies. Um, subscribe, watch, comment, like.